We're now in the top five for AL.com A-list. Drew Champlin here to talk about Seth Williams, a wide receiver from Paul Bryant High School, and talk about a versatile player. His stats speak for themselves. His junior season, I'll read them off here. He caught 51 passes, 626 for 14 touchdowns. But on the flip side, he played some defense, 38 tackles, five interceptions, and two forced fumbles. What stands out about this guy? I mean, the, the stats speak for themselves. Yeah, he's about 6'2", 6 6'3", 6 200 pounds. He played power forward for the state championship basketball team for Paul Bryant in 6A. Tremendous athlete, great hands and vision. You can throw him a deep ball down the sideline. He's going to catch it in traffic. I think, uh, you know, we got Justin Ross, I think, is, is the top receiver in the state. This guy's not far behind. And, uh, you know, he could play some quarterback for his high school, but I think, you know, they, they need to have him on both sides of the ball, and he's got a chance. I think he profiles as a receiver at the next level, but uh, he could play safety if he needed to. And his recruiting process has been kind of interesting. I know Alabama was pretty hot and heavy on him, kind of backed off. But now, you know, they're a, a school that's obviously up for contention between Alabama and Auburn. Just what are your thoughts on where he ends up going and possibly um, the impact he might have? You know, it's hard to it's hard to ever predict a, a local kid leaving the city. So I you know, I would have to say Alabama is probably a favorite, uh, depending on how hard they really push for him. Auburn is in the mix. Ole Miss. Uh, He's got some legit SEC offers, and I think he'll be an impact player at the SEC.